Philips partnership with Visual MD aims to further the use of computer aided imagery in the prevention and diagnosis of disease and they took the opportunity to showcase some of the results of their collaboration at this year's TEDMED including the highest resolution brain scan ever seen. Visual MD was conceived by Alexander Ciaras who fused his artistic talents with a fascination for science to develop a groundbreaking method for rendering the human body in 3D. The technology offers a host of applications which could fundamentally change medical imaging for the benefit of both patients and practitioners. I think that Visual MD was really amazing because, you know, as a clinician, it's always, you know, hard to transmit complex medical ideas and when you visualize it, and I'm a visual thinker, I think it really makes it easier to comprehend and make it actionable. So if you understand high blood pressure, which is the video he showed, you have it but you don't feel the symptoms, you're going to be much more inclined to, I want to do something, I, I know what this is doing to my brain or my kidneys or to my life stand and I think having that sort of visual integrative understanding can really impact healthcare. Visual MD, um, in terms of its, its blending of, of, of the, the graphical representations, so to me seems to be a really important way to get people to better understand their, the disease state and the way in which they can better, better take care of themselves, but also just sort of understand how it actually works. Visual MD became a passion of art, science, and technology. And our goal is to create stories, from beautiful imagery, from scientific data that is quantitatively accurate, and then can be brought to a larger audience. But it can also speak to key opinion leaders, to physicians, it can speak to advocacy groups, but it can also speak to patients. When they see a neuron or they see a brain, and you explain to them, here's the marvel of how it normally works, and then this has gone wrong, they get it. The problem people have with trying to understand a scan, it's, it's like, trying to say if you take a photograph of something you have one picture from one angle at one point in time when you have the scan you own all the real estate of that part of the body and you can completely control it it's a magnificent photo studio in space I can make the outer part of your heart transparent I could do anything I wanted to do with that body part I can fly around it I can use a wide-angle lens I can make it as dramatic and as mundane as I want from the perspective of people who uh, have an illness or been diagnosed with an illness, Visual MD's ability to turn plain CAT scan information into something that's understandable uh, you know, allows people to relate it to themselves. It is no longer just an abstract, but it becomes personal. We feel very strongly that in working with Visual MD, there is now a way that the physicians and patients can have common ground, that they can really understand together what is happening what the medical problems are, and come to a better consensus as to you know, what the physician should do and what the patients want to have done. I think that the way we actually process information in relationship to visual information about our bodies is that it's just a sense of clarity, a sense of quick understanding. And, and also, the, it's drama. I mean, the human body is dramatic. Now, the problem that we have, and, and this is one of the big mistakes that the healthcare industry has been making across the board, governments, pharmaceutical companies, the media uh, as well, everyone, uh, we have been lousy storytellers about the most dramatic element, our own bodies. So right now, Philips is, is sponsoring uh, oncology initiatives using, using Visual MD, uh, the cardiovascular work using Visual MD because we have a very strong focus in cardiology. And it is mostly about presenting information to patients to help explain medical problems for which Philips is providing its solutions. What we hope to be able to do in the future is to craft a, a more proactive and preventive message as opposed to just presenting the facts. And that's going to take you know, a lot of educational work, uh, but we feel that this really is the way forward. Visuals simply are, are palpable understandings of the functionality of your body, and they are credible. So we believe that this is the methodology that will actually change behavior. Again, not in everybody, but for those people who are interested and need better understanding, need empowerment, this is the way to go. People are extremely resistant to change, but I believe they're about 15% of the population wants to change, they just don't know how to do it. And therefore, this is a, an opportunity for the Visual MD to use data that is about your body 
that shows you the ravages of what happens when you do not comply either with your drugs or comply with your exercise program or comply with your nutrition program. So it's absolutely critical that you have a clear understanding to demystify the demon of the disease or to sort of inspire you because the only thing that changes people is inspiration, to inspire you to change. It is absolutely critical. Giving them pathways back to health, and that's one of the things that we're using in the Visual MD. We are not only showing you what is going on inside your body, but then we're showing you what these changes and showing you how to make the changes as to what the accomplishments that you will have over a period of time. If you change 15 to 25 percent of the population, you have done more than any public policy program in the history of mankind. And those are the kinds of numbers that I think are reasonable. But those are the first, those are the first steps that we must make.